Hello everyone and welcome back to Mystic Korea. Today's video uh, we are going to be looking at uh, the Pokestop nominations that I did about a month ago in one of my previous videos that I will actually link above in case you haven't seen it. Uh, but basically, we're going to be looking at Pokestop nominations, what I have done, what I have learned from the experience, and some of the research that I've done recently on it. Now, I haven't even received all of my uh, responses back from Niantic. I've only received five out of the seven, but I know how one, the sixth one is going to go, and the seventh one may eventually come. Uh, and it really kind of went the way that I expected it to, unfortunately. Uh, so that's, that's a little spoiler there for you guys. Uh, but I know this video has been long in coming. I've been really busy doing live streams. Uh, I finally reached level 44 and, uh, we actually have the two times catch Stardust, uh, active event going on right now. So I've been a little bit busy with all of that. So I hope you guys like today's video. Uh, and if you guys don't mind dropping a, um, comment down in the section below, uh, how many of the seven nominations do you think got approved? Uh, I know I kind of spoiled it a little bit, but maybe you guys can take a guess. It's not all bad, uh, but I'm curious what you guys think of the ones that I submitted in the previous video. And like I said, if you haven't seen the previous video, I do recommend checking it out so that you can kind of see what we're talking about today. Uh, now I am going to go ahead and try and put up some of the pictures of the previous uh, Pokestop nominations as I'm going through the list. Uh, and that will hopefully be a refresher for you guys. And I'll talk about uh, Niantic's Wayfair reviewing system a little bit as well, uh, because I've, I've been looking into that a little bit more. And uh, yeah, I'm a little bit frustrated with their system and the, the Pokestop nominations that I made, but we're gonna talk about that. All right, so let's go on to Pokestop number one. Pokestop number one was the Cherry Blossom Mural. Now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and put up a picture of it on the screen for you guys. And I will also put up the email that I received from them. Unfortunately, it was a rejection email, which is really frustrating because I've seen murals all over the place make it in. Uh, and this one in particular is really beautiful. Uh, and I thought it was really unique. So I don't quite know why it was rejected, uh, their reasoning. Uh, is typical reasoning that I do get from Niantic quite often, unfortunately. So they basically said that um, the, the Pokestop was rejected due to insufficient evidence that the nomination accurately reflects the submitted real world location. Uh, yeah, you know, unfortunately, I think one of the things that they use is map views, but map views are only so certain, like so up to date. Um, I really don't know what this means. I, I really don't think it's right. But uh, if anybody from Niantic ends up watching this video, maybe you guys can improve your system a little bit because the place was honestly the one that I thought was going to get approved. So let's go on to Pokestop nomination number two. Nomination number two was called the Five Square Arches and I'll put a picture up on the screen for you. Uh, basically this one is located between apartment buildings and a school. And I thought it was really, it might make it in because it seems like a special, maybe like an art installation or something unique. Uh, but I haven't actually received any emails back about this and it's been a month. So I'm not sure if it's going to get approved or rejected. I don't see it on the map yet. There's actually nothing there. There's some stuff nearby on the other side of the apartment complex, uh, but there, there's nothing there for my submission. So maybe it'll eventually get approved next year who knows it's been a month and i've gotten almost all the other emails back and uh, this one is just it's it's floating out in outer space somewhere so pokestop nomination number three was literally right next to the five square arches and this one was called the modern glass gazebo and i'll put a picture up for you now this one was quite interesting it was rejected and the email says that the photo appears to be tilted sideways or upside down it is sufficient evidence that the nomination accurately reflects a submitted real world location. And the real world location of the nomination appears to be on the grounds of a primary secondary school. It's not, it's right next to it. Come on, Niantic, like you're killing me here. Uh, you know, it's really frustrating when you know that the, the nomination spot is a viable and legitimate one. 
And because I have seen gazebos just like that one uh, submitted and approved, it's really frustrating uh, to not understand why uh, that is. So my, my answers from Niantic are not very uh, useful. Uh, so let's go ahead and move on to number four. Uh, number four was a church. And this one, I'm a little bit surprised as well that it was rejected because I see churches getting approved all the time here in Korea. So the reason that this one seems to have been rejected is because they cannot confirm to have an acceptable pedestrian pathway leading up to it. Again, tilted sideways or upside down, which is not. Uh, insufficient evidence that the nomination accurately reflects the real world location, da 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 da. Uh, you know, I really don't understand what they mean by having a pathway because literally every single church that I see that's nominated, it, it's literally just on a street. Like there's not really a, a, like a sidewalk or anything. So again, Niantic, you know, you're picking and choosing certain ones and I don't really understand what your selection criteria is. Now, I know these are reviewed by people, uh, but really, you know, there needs to be some consistency because this is very inconsistent. So let's go ahead and take a look at number five. Now, number five was another church. And funny enough, this one actually popped up on my map like a few days after I filmed that video. So somebody else had already submitted it as a Pokestop location. Now I have not received an email back about this one. So I assume that whenever Niantic decides to send me an email, it's gonna say that this is already a Pokestop location. Uh, but like I said, this popped up as a location just a few days after I filmed that video. So I was really surprised when I saw it. Uh, and again, it's a church and it's basically the exact same as the previous one. So why did my previous one get rejected? But then this person's didn't, I don't understand. So let's go on to number six. And number six was one that I definitely thought was going to get rejected. That was the, uh, aquarium, the Sujo Kwan. And yeah, and needless to say that one definitely, uh, got rejected for, you know, a very good reason. Uh, it really wasn't a public place. It's a private business. Um, but you know, their reasoning is a little bit funny. It's, um, photo appears to include a recognizable license plate. So don't include any car pictures because apparently, you know, that will be enough to get things rejected, which is just silly. Um, you know, sometimes it's just really hard to avoid having cars in, in your pictures. Like there's cars everywhere. Come on. All right, and finally we get to the last one. And this one is one that I'm a little bit uh, disappointed with simply because this is a public place where people can go to get information about the city of Daejeon. You would think that the Daejeon Tourist Center would get approved. And nope, it got rejected. And their lovely reasons include that it, it appears to be a residential property or a farm. This is a public place for visitors to the city of Daejeon to go and learn about the city. Why does it get rejected? I don't understand. Um, yeah, so this has been my experience with these seven nominations. Now I am going to try again. Uh, I have, like I said, been doing some research into uh, Wayfair. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull up Wayfarer's website uh, just so that you guys can take a look at it with me. Now, when you first click on this website, uh, it takes you, it shows you some featured way spots and it basically asks you to begin reviewing. So I click on that, it asks me what language I would like and I click on start training. Now I've actually gone ahead and watched this video, this Niantic Wayfair video, uh, basically about reviewing good Pokestops or good Wayfair spot locations uh and it's pretty basic and it, it it's it's kind of the obvious stuff that you would expect uh and as you go through here it also um gives you information about some of their kind of the things that they're looking for so a great place for exploration and it gives you some examples so historic plaques libraries zoos museums galleries nature signs Unique or unusual local shops. Hmm, that one, you know, it's a pri private businesses, but apparently those can get approved. Uh, just not anything that I submit. 
Uh, a great place for exercise. So these are parks, plazas, gardens, forests, hiking trails, biking trails, sports fields, exercise equipment in public places. Now I have in the past submitted some uh, local exercise equipment and that's been rejected as well. <sighs> So yeah, I really, it really is very frustrating when something meets the criteria that they want, but they still don't allow it to be approved. Uh, let's see, great place to be in social, to, a great place to be social with others. So these are pavilions, also known as gazebos, post offices, gaming, comic stores, libraries, parks and plazas, fountains and water features, famous transit stations, popular restaurants, and favorite coffee shops. So again, these are private businesses. So, hmm, you know, it really makes you wonder. There is a cafe just down the street for me that I have tried to put in three times and it's been rejected every time. It's a beautiful little cafe with outdoor seating, but it gets rejected. I don't know why. So basically, uh, if you, you know, want to do this, there's, there's a whole process you can go through to be a part of it. I have heard that if you do a certain number of these, that you get a priority when it comes to kind of reviewing one of your nominations. So it may be something that I will do in the future. Um, uh, but it is, you know, just a little bit frustrating when you are so many things that, you know, are viable Pokestop locations and they get rejected. So Niantic, please, if you ever watch this, help us because, you know, the mural, I've seen murals before get approved. Why was my mural rejected? It's, it's a nice, pretty mural on the street that everybody can go and see just like any other mural anywhere else. Uh, same goes with the Tejon Tara Center. Like that, it just makes no sense. That is a public location for people to go and learn about the city. Uh, it is open to everyone. It's not even a private business. So uh, now I'm going to show you guys some of the Pokestop locations um, in my area that um, I have noticed that kind of make me scratch my head. And I have a lot of notifications coming up. But let's take a look here. So uh, the ones that I submitted are uh, kind of over by this square that you see at the top of my screen. Now, the square at the top of my screen is where the uh, school is. It's on the right side of that area. But the ones that I submitted are on the left side of that area. So they're not on the school grounds. They're actually in a public area. So I don't know. But now I was looking at these ones earlier. Ha ha, look, imagine it's a gazebo. It's a, like an overhang that, yeah. That one got approved. Uh, this one here doesn't have any information at all. Ko, which is the uh, Hangul or the Korean words that you see on the screen, just means flower. Like that, that's it. So Niantic, what, what are your people using to, to review these? Because there's literally no information, no description of this whatsoever, yet it got approved. Yet things like the mural, the Daejeon Tourist Information Center, and uh, the gazebo that I put out and the churches, those all got rejected or just they're missing out in outer space. So that is um, pretty much what I've got for you on these Pokestop locations. I hope you guys have had better luck than me. And if you have, please let me know in the comments below what you have done, what you have found that works for you. I am going to try again on some of these locations uh, simply because I would love to have more around my area so that I can go and take a walk and hit up a bunch of Pokestops. Uh, but I have been doing a lot of live streaming recently and it seems to be something that you guys really enjoy. Uh, so if that is the case, let me know. Uh, I will be doing another live stream actually on Tuesday night. Uh, around eight o'clock, which is about what time I usually start streaming. And I usually stream for about two hours. So that'll be 8 p.m. Korean Standard Time, which is like maybe noon, noonish on in, in Europe and then maybe like early morning on American time. So I had to think about that for a second, but yeah, I will be, oh, and I've got an egg. Uh, I will be streaming some more this week. I'm actually really close to finishing off my shiny Mew. So my shiny Mew will be on uh, the stream. And that is an awful Pokemon to get from an egg. Hmm. 
yeah so let's go ahead and put something else on and if you haven't uh followed me on twitter uh but would like to i do recommend doing that as well simply because uh, i have been posting when i go live and i've also been posting kind of like new and exciting things that have happened uh i actually got two four stars this week one was a scrub and one was a metatite uh so i did post that on the twitter page uh so there are a lot of new and exciting things coming to the channel I am actually working on a Discord and hopefully we'll have that up for you guys in the next week or so. I've got some friends that have been helping me out with that and uh, their help is very much appreciated. So if you guys did like this video, uh, do let me know by liking it uh, and making sure you drop a comment. And if you're not a subscriber yet, please do subscribe. Uh, it tells me that you really like the content on the channel and it tells me that you want me to keep making more. So that's gonna basically be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will catch you all in the next one.